Uh, hello, how are you guys? This is your boy Danny Sima Wiri. I'm back with another video. So, hope you like, share, comment, subscribe. It's been long since I made a video, but I told myself, you know what? Let me do something. Let me do something. Let me do something. So, this is the video for today. Today, the video is about the gold, gold trades that are analyzed on gold. That's gold versus euro, and the other one is euro pound. So those were those were one of my best swing trades. Those were one of my best swing trades. So let's get it on, guys. So let's get it on. So this was the euro. This was the gold versus euro. So I was long at I analyzed it, and I saw that the market is now changing direction. It's now going upwards. So let's see how it went. Yes, so this is the gold versus euro trade, and we are still holding it though because there was a little bit of a reversal, a little bit of a reversal here. But I saw that the market has to come back to, to where it came from, so my take profit is somewhere around 1643, somewhere there. That's where my take profit. So this thing, I think I'm gonna hold it for next year as well. I'll be holding it for next year. I'll be holding it because I'm more of a swing trader. Although now I've moved to indices, I'm now scalp day trading. It's not scalping as well, it's one hour, so it's like day trading. It's not scalping. Scalping, I think it's one minute, five minutes. That's scalp, scalping, day trading, one hour. I don't know for me. Four hour, four hour can move on to swinging as well because you can hold it for three, four days, even for four weeks. It all depends with your style. But that's how I do it. Trade the daily on the on the dailies on the forex market. I do swinging then on the indices. That's the synthetic indices through derive. It once was called binary. Now it's derive. So this is what it is, guys. I'm swinging trade this one. So for the next year, 2021, I'll be holding this trade. That is gold versus the uh, gold versus euro. Because I took it from 30 November, so it's almost a month now holding it. This is the day after Christmas, and I'm still holding it. I'm patient enough. I think the market is gonna change up to this size. So this is where my my take for this is. Because what you have to know, there's this other side that the market drops like shoot to the bottom. Then there is this other side when they start what to incline like a little bit goes up. And pull back goes up and pull back goes up and pull back goes up and pull back. So that's how the market that, that does. If the market drops sharply, the next move is to incline. To incline is just to go up. To accelerate, just to go up. That's a little acceleration. When it goes up and how it goes up, it goes like like a little bit. So all you have to do is you have to, you have to be patient. You have to be more patient. Then the other one is um the other one is uh it's euro pound it's euro pound so let's see euro pound euro pound is here here is the euro pound let's see what happened on euro pound so this is the euro pound i took a long position as well so this is what it is guys euro pound heated my tp because as I ever said, when the market goes up sharp like this, it drops like a desk, like, like slowly. It doesn't shoot to the moon, it does like shoot. So I knew very well that if the market went down like a desk, like this, it was gonna what? It's gonna shoot to the upside. So it didn't hit my take profit because my take profit was somewhere here. It almost hit my take profit, but I think with a half a peep, I think something like that. Because this is where the market came from. At first, it came from here, then it went down. So I knew very well if it goes like a this slowly like this, it's what's gonna check up. So that's what what it, what it is, guys. So all you have to do is to be patient enough to start from. That's what it is. So this was one, two of the pairs that worked very well, very well with my analysis. Other pairs, other ones, I really make money, I lose money, but that's what it is. If you risk it well. You cover up all your losses with, or even one just one trade you can cover up all your losses if you know how to risk well and how to be patient enough with your profits 
you want to be patient with the losses cause all you have to do to maximize your profits to make your trading account go up like increase the chances of winning you don't have to be patient don't be patient with losses cut them early be patient with profits so if the trade is in a profit but now you have to be now you have to be an expert because sometimes you might be patient enough with the profit then you will turn it into loss so that's why you should have something like a trading plan that trading plan is the one that you follow like if the market does this this is what i do if the market does this this this, this is what i do because as you can see uh when was that i think last week uh last week i analyzed it i saw like yeah it's gonna form a double top but because of the spikes i didn't take this trade because i don't like spikes of course these were dojis and stuff but they were too long candlesticks i don't like to take my trades on candlesticks which are too long because when it reverses you become emotional and it's very bad for your trading account because it moves like never before so this is what it is guys so all you have to do is to be patient with the profits but now you have to be adjusting just have to adjust like okay if i'm patient enough with my profits to what extent do i have to be patient enough with my profits okay if you don't i don't have to be I, I, if i have don't have to be patient with my losses to what extent so this is where you adjust your stop losses you take profits and stuff in the market structure you can see like okay now the market is changing direction because of double tops double bottoms triple tops triple bottoms hair and shoulders inverted hair and shoulders rising wage falling wage it's so much stuff to what to learn about but that's the little it's all about the mindset your mindset so you have to do something with your mindset so after doing something with your mindset you know if you master your emotions you're good to go that thing of someone can ask you hey can i use a strategy can you borrow me a strategy can i buy your trade that's next to nothing when it comes to trading trading is all about your mindset do you manage it you take a trade how are you going forward how are you going to be in preparation with it how are you going to exit how are you do you enter and stuff all those things it's part of what mindset is the key you can have a damn strategy but if your mindset is right you're good to go you can make the money you can kill the market you will milk the market you see so that's what it is guys so i just thought like okay it's been long since i what i made a video on my channel so today let me do something just a day after christmas is a christmas box for my channel so this is what it is guys hope i will see you in the next one like comment share and subscribe because i've seen that yeah, my, my watch my trading channel is going up there was a time yesterday i think it's two three days back i was just checking on my photos and stuff and i was like i had a time where i didn't have even one subscriber why just one subscriber someone used to show me no no i don't have any but now i'm sitting on 50. i'm sitting on 50 and i don't have a year doing this but then so which means in the next five years maybe i'll be have something like 10 to 15 thousand what subscribers according to the what to the myth the one that i'm working on like how many subscribers i'm gaining in a month in two months in three months because you can just gauge on average how many subscribers are you gain so you can see so i just feel like okay i'm growing so i have to do something with my trading channel because this is what i want I like doing it sometimes i do it just to stay away from the markets because you should have something to do always have something to do so that's why you see they always say like you know what the worst mistake that a trader can do is not to be able to just sit not doing anything just sit watching the market okay, after an hour then you check okay you're trading one hour after an hour you see what can i do can i enter can i exit can i hold that's what it is not in, in between an hour no you don't have to do that then if you're a swing i trade daily after 24 hours just check the markets okay what's happening do i have to enter do i have to exit do i have to hold or oh, there's nothing i can do that's what makes a trader that's what makes me a trader so this is what it is guys this is the video for today hope i will see you in the next one hope you like share comment subscribe this is your boy don't
Puis du next tour, next tour, next tour, next tour, next tour. Mm -hmm. 